What's up guys, this is Cher talking, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'll show you how to fit a Kazinsi Stage 30 when using Spear Units. This is actually pretty doable if you have been summoning for the recent newest damage dealers, but I also showcase Merlot Syrah because I believe in the power of the character. Well, you still need to stun if you want, but that's not exactly necessary. So speaking about stun, Natalie has access to Sweep via Inheritance, and that can be found on her A style, Mariah. Then uh, it's good to talk about the skill since you'll be able to see more. All of these characters here have access to Sweep that stuns with just two BP cost. Then Grass Hopper can be found on these units here. Then there is also Reaper. That can be found in so many other units. So stun is not a problem. I use it Natalie because she doesn't do much damage. She's just support. You can also run the latest Final Emperor with Grass Hopper and Heritage. It will be very useful because sometimes you can counter Kazinsi too. But well, this fight won't last for too long because I have very strong damage dealers in the combination of Brownie and to beer. I'm really loving this combination of characters because Brownie gets into overdrive sometimes, 37% of the time, and she charges her skill Fairy Breeze Lancer alongside some BP. And Subir is a uh, overdrive specialist by use of Tidal Spear all the time. And he gives all status buffs, defense boost, and overdrive damage boost when he is attacking on overdrive. Matrix here because she will be buffing via being of exaltation. Or being of victory, it doesn't matter. And then uh, I'll be using Heaven's Heal when needed. Natalie is here because she heals the party when she's hit. She can also heal when attacking. You can inherit Sweep, like I said, to stun. And she can even debuff via Mojie March. And I'm using Merlot Sartus because it's a very popular character. And you can use Play to get one turn off evasion, attack and defense boost, and then focus on either Assault or Lightning Loop. Those are the cards that I brought. You can bring many others. For example, uh, the other Subir is also very nice because he buffs and he buffs passively. You can also bring the latest for news. Uh, even a Pominondas is an okay character to use. I also think Nadar is an okay choice as well because he's pretty defensive. The latest Thomas works and latest Vagnus. So many different units, some that I don't have as well. Even Chal can make good damage. So this is my squad. I brought Gauntlets mostly to decrease damage taken, save for Matrak. And you can see that they are resisting versus Cold and Shadow mostly. But I don't think the fight will last for too long. Oh, and I was forgetting about Subir Inheritance. And I like that free skill that you can get from Inheritance. Call it Water Javelin. Let us go. Okay, we'll start. I will be using my Peon of Exaltation. Play. Then I will be debuffing with Mudge March. Subir will be using Tidal Spear. Brownie opens with Fair Breeze Lancer. Because, well, she can recharge this skill, but you have to use to actually refresh. So I like to start with it. It also boosts her pierce damage. Mudge March. We just deflect it twice <laughs> because of plate. Very good start. Shadow Spear is now giving me an overdrive chase. Fair didn't get anything, but that is okay. For now, I'll be using Lightning Loop to buff STR. Aqua Lunge with Natalie. Shadow Spear with Subir. Psych Needle with Fairy. You know, Exaltation is nice because he buffs both Endurance and Wheel. Got hit by quite a lot, but also killed the party. Fairy got hit with Poison. That won't be a problem, though. You got the extra healing from Matriarch passive, and if you feel like you need to heal a lot, just use Heaven's Heal. You just recharge this as well. Uh, now I'll be using Assault with Merlot. 
have lots of VP, so that's good. And it's time to sweep with Natalie. Subir doesn't have much VP yet, so I will just use Prime Pump. And I think I'll use a Psych Needle one again. Done it. Natalie won't get into overdrive, so we won't be able to double stun. But that's okay. Sadly, Subir is alone on his overdrive turn. Get off his altation. South again. Bungie March. I will be using Tidal Spear now, and we will have plenty of chases anyway. Even if he's by himself. Damage will scale a lot with just this turn. Look, everything we've done so far. His attack would already do. Whoa. This would be one more than 1 million and now 1.3 million. I don't know. Yes. We did more damage with Subir in this attack than we did with anyone else. But that's okay, because Fairy didn't get her refresh and overdrive. And now we are pretty defensive as well. Not in danger at all. I will be using White Spear just to increase the damage of... My characters now. Under Tidal Spear. The last Insight Needle, I guess. The Antrack damage is almost non existent. But now we can double stun with Natalie. <laughs> now she got the extra. Uh, but she's already on overdrive. So, peeing off his altation. I will use Lightning Loop. Should I? I think I should just use a normal sweep. Do Subir have enough BP? This is a 5 BP per turn character. He will. I'll use Triple Trick, I know Fairy Breeze Lance, and then I'll finish everything on the next turn on Overdrive. Hopefully everyone will be together for the Victory Leap, right? Yes. Oh, damage will skyrock now. Assault. What do you march? Idol Spear. Fairy Breeze Lancer. I want to see who will do more. Subir or Fairy? Totally Subir. But we'll see. You're buffing, applying Guard Down. Assault did more than 1 million total. 1 million with the first hit. The second will do much more. 2.4 million total. 3 million total. Almost 5 million total. Mm, I could not see the other 3 attacks, but probably be close to Subir. Yeah. But that's also the end of the video. If you use it a different squad, please share here in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon in the next video or live stream. Goodbye.